Well, hello, my pond people. John G. Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. I am here again with the Ecosystem Pond Series, episode 2.5. This little snippet of video is going to give you a general basic understanding of how the nitrogen cycle works. Guys, this isn't a chemistry lesson. I'm not getting too deep into it, but I want you to understand the basics. So we're gonna start with the circle. And at the top of the circle, you have a fish. Fish excrete ammonia through their gills. All of the organic matter washing into your pond. You get a little poo washing in from your fish. You got all this stuff. It accumulates. You have a closed environment there. There's no way for that stuff to get out. Guys, that stuff turns to ammonia. Ammonia is highly toxic to your fish, but the good news is there are beneficial bacteria, these little microscopic critters, and they will convert that ammonia into nitrite. And the thing is, you get a spike. So early in the season in your pond, you start feeding a little heavy, uneaten food, high ammonia levels start to build up, super bad for your fish. You wanna keep an eye on it. If there's anything I can ever tell you, have test kits. I'll pop up a photo of the kits that we use. It's not rocket science, it's like instructions. I don't need to read them to you. You guys can figure that on your own, but test your water if you're worried about anything. Watch your fish. If you see abnormal behavior, I always run straight to my test kits because that gives me a guarantee that my water quality parameters are good. Ammonia is the first thing that pops up on that cycle. So once you get to that ammonia phase, the beneficial bacteria that you're adding to your pond start breaking down that ammonia. That's why it's so important early in the season to be diligent with your bacteria. It then converts to nitrite. Nitrite can also be toxic to your fish. There's another test kit for nitrite. There's also another bacteria. There's gajillions of them. They make this biofilm inside your pond. Typically the nitrifying bacterias are, are this slime coat on the rocks and it'll all be in the in the biological filter section you'll get to understand that a whole lot better so just watch that video as it comes out in the series but this bacteria converts the nitrite changes it into nitrate and then guys the nitrate is the last phase in the cycle to me it is the least problematic as far as being toxic to the fish of the cycle that one is the least toxic. Anything's toxic if you just let it build, 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 build till there's a problem. But the reality is nitrate is the least toxic. The nitrate can be eaten by plants. The plants convert that nitrogen into leaf matter. And then you're back to mechanical filtration. You can chop leaves off and take them out of the pond or the leaves die back into the water, decomposing in the bottom, beginning the cycle again. That's how it works, guys. So. There's a lot of tests you can do. You can test for pH and alkalinity and all this other stuff. Not a chemistry lesson today. Basic test kits are gonna be ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, pH. These are the go-to four that you're gonna look at in your pond right away when you think you have a problem. I'm gonna tell you right now, if any of those things are out of whack, a 25% water change is what you need to do. And you need to do it slowly. I'm not gonna give you an hour long course on doing a proper water change. That's a video for another day, but that's what you're gonna go to. There's products that you can put in your pond that will neutralize ammonia. I am a purveyor of doing water changes. It's like a big fish tank that you've built and you're creating this entire ecosystem. If you let water evaporate from your pond and then you fill it back up, you're not actually changing any, any water. A well-built pond will have an overflow. You need to make sure that your pond is getting periodic water changes. That's actually physically removing nutrient-rich water that has these things built up in it by adding new, fresh, clean water. That's something I always recommend you do. Anyways, another day, squirrel. Guys, tune back in to the Ecosystem Pond Series. I'll share everything I got stored away in here with you. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks for being here, I'm out.